Hey kids. Yeah, you. Podcast listeners. Oliver Pruitt here. Maybe you're listening in the backseat of your parents' car. Or on your phone. Sorry to interrupt, but I can do that since I'm the sponsor. That means I pay the bills. So if your mom or dad is listening, tell them not to pay attention. I created this podcast for you. The kid who believes anything is possible. Like 11-year-old Mars Patel. Take a listen as I drop you into the hallway of H.G. Wells Middle School and into the middle of a mystery. Mars and his pals Jonas and Caddy haven't heard from their friend Aurora in... How long has it been, Mars? Five days. Five days what? You know what he's talking about, Jonas. Oh, great. He's on the Aurora thing again. It's not the Aurora thing. She's gone. A person is made of matter. A person has mass. She's not gone. She's not not gone. Five days since Aurora disappeared. She isn't responding to text or calls. She hasn't posted anything on Instagram all week. There's no one at her house. Just because someone forgets to say goodbye doesn't mean she's missing. I mean, wouldn't her parents be freaking out? We don't even know where they are. Caddy, you feel me on this, right? I always feel you, Mars, whether I like it or not. And you're sure you didn't have one of your weird vibes from her in the locker room? No, Aurora was like she always is, in her own world. Drawing in that sketchbook when you're supposed to be getting changed. But she said she'd be right out, and then she wasn't. It still doesn't make any sense. Where did she go? I'm probably going to regret saying this. Attention, students and faculty. This is a code red. Please keep calm and proceed with lockdown protocols. Is this a real one? Nah, it's probably a drill. In here. You want to hide in the janitor's closet? You'd rather pack into the science lab with half the sixth grade? No way. Last time someone knocked off my glasses and I was blind for a week. Out of the halls, everyone into the nearest room, stay quiet, keep away from the doors and windows. Wow, it's really dark in here, huh? Oh, ow, oh, I think something's really happening out there. The energy in the school totally changed. You're having one of your headaches? Like when you can tell something's going on? I don't know, it's not that bad, yet. Sometimes a headache is just a headache. Could it be because that stupid alarm won't stop going off in our ears? In a few minutes... Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh what, Jonas? I gotta go. Now? You can't! You know my deal. The bowels are irritable, man, and I forgot to take my meds. It's a code red. Yeah, well, I'm about to have a code brown in my pants. The bathroom's like a 10-second run. What if someone's in the hall? Then I'll juke them out, just like clearing the level on Assassin's Quest. Except this is not a game. Everything's a game, Mars. Everything's a game. Jonas, you need to listen to me. My head is... uh, Believe me, you'll be glad I did. Come on, man. See you guys on the other side. He'll be okay. I mean, we could still... No, we hang here. We wait till it's over. It's okay to admit that you're scared. You know I hate it when you read my thoughts. I can't read your thoughts, I just feel things. Yeah, well it makes me feel weird. Like you're all up inside my head. Sorry, I just can't help it sometimes. It's always been this way. Since we were little kids, I felt this connection to you. So, I was thinking, the dance is coming up and I know you were going to ask Aurora. Not that you told me that, and not that I felt it. I just guessed, but what if... We should probably be quiet, you know, in case someone's out there. Right. I'm sure Aurora's fine, Mars. You'll hear from her soon. Attention, students and faculty. The lockdown has ended. So that's it? We're safe? Yeah, another false alarm. Guess Jonas was right. Sometimes a headache is just a headache. I'm gonna go find him. Okay. See you guys at detention? I'll save you your usual seat. Mars? I'm glad we were together. Yeah.
Jonas, code red's over, dude. Jonas? You in here? Yeah. So that was the last time any of us saw Jonas. Hey Aurora, it's me, Mars, again. I have no idea if you're getting these recordings and putting up in the cloud. My texts are bouncing back, emails too. People keep telling me I worry too much. I don't know. If you are in some kind of trouble, I just, I want you to know I'm looking, okay? I'm going to find you and Jonas too. So anyway, until I do, I'll just keep recording. <laughs> Welcome, Detention Dwellers. For those law-abiding citizens making their first appearance here, I am Mr. Q, and yes, I am at least as cool as you've heard. However, I do expect you to use this time productively. I know you've got standardized gift tests coming up. I don't need to tell you how important they are. If you have any pertinent questions about how things work in here, feel free to ask the experts. Mars Patel, insubordination. Do you know how unfair it is that we are expected to be in school by- Caddy Platchett, let me guess. Defending Mars. He actually had a point this time. He usually has a point. Randall Toothpick Reed, what'd you do this time, Pick? The security on the library computers is so basic. How can you call it security when all you have to do is decode the password and send your to- I've said too much. Mr. Q, might I begin taking attendance? Oh, you, Toothpick. One. Who are we missing? James Devlin. J.P. McGowan, 43rd straight day of detention. A new record. Thank you very much. Unnecessary roughness, J.P.? No, it was totally necessary. Ask Jaden Walsh if he'll ever throw jello at Toothpick again. He won't. Grab a seat with your friends, J.P. Hey, J.P. Hi, Caddy. Hey, Mars. You hear anything from Jonas, J.P.? He's probably one of his gaming comas. He goes MIA when he's locked in. He went into the bathroom during Code Red and never came out. It happens. It's happened twice now. And like Mars said, nobody besides us seems to be asking questions. Are we talking about Jonas? I was wondering why he uh, wasn't with us today. We don't know where he is. He wasn't excused from detention. Yeah, nobody said anything to me. Is this another Aurora situation? Be careful, Mr. Q. He doesn't like it when you call it a situation. I think we should just call it what it is. They're missing. Why do you think that is, Mars? I don't know. Aliens, CIA assassinations. Ooh, maybe one of those time-space wormholes. JP, you don't think it's weird that they've both disappeared? I think we've all got problems. And I think Mars is trying to pull us into another one of his conspiracy theories. It's not a theory. Two of our friends dropped off the face of the Earth. 14 students on the list. 12 students present. Two students absent, Jonas Hopkins and Aurora Gershowitz. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Look, maybe they'll both show up tomorrow and explain that they got some weird virus that paralyzes your texting fingers. Or their parents moved them to a country with no Wi-Fi. Whatever it is, nobody seems to care or even notice when it's kids like us. What do you mean, kids like you? Outcasts, misfits, freaks. Okay, Toothpick, I think he gets it. Losers, oddballs, weirdos. It's so cute. You're looking at me like I'm insane. Actually, Mars, your teachers might not appreciate the way your brain fires, but I do. So if you're convinced something's going on, and if Caddy feels it too, then who am I to tell you different? Oh, Mr. Q, don't tell me you're on his side. I didn't say that, but I already know I can't stop Mars Patel once he's made up his mind. You're learning. That's good. Good? I'm having a hard time seeing how any of this is good. Come on, JP, help us look. Not this time, Mars. Tell the alien CIA assassins I say hi. At Pruitt Prep, we understand the extraordinary kid. We're looking for students who think differently, who dream big. If you think you have what it takes to join us, visit our website at pruittprep.com and take the test. To the stars. Hope you don't mind hearing me make myself dinner, Aurora. Galaxy Clusters, again. I know, I know. 
But cereal is all we have in the house, and I've got a lot to figure out. Thanks for joining us. From our electric cars to our phones to the way we power our homes, there's not a family in America that doesn't use something that came from the minds of Oliver Pruitt. You always make fun of me for having Oliver Pruitt's picture in my locker, Laura. But the guy is a rock star. You know, I've invented hundreds of things. I've designed vehicles for private space flight and created tech for self-sustaining plants that can grow in any environment. But really, I believe my true calling is education. To the stars, I like to say. The school I created, Mars? Pruitt Prep, is... Mom, what are you doing home? I'm not really here. Just need to change my shoes. I'm due at the restaurant in 15 minutes. Galaxy clusters again? Really? Didn't I leave you no, some of that? you didn't. Well, I will tomorrow. I'll get up early and cook, I promise. Mars, are you recording us? No, I just... I was sending something to Aurora. Hello, Aurora. How are you, sweetheart? Gone. What? Ma, can I talk to you about something? Sure. Just let me find my... Sorry, keep going. Okay, it's just... We were talking to Mr. Q in detention today and detention? I... Detention? Again? Yeah, but I didn't do anything this time. Mrs. Wellington got all mad because I told her the Earth is dying and it's all her generation's fault. You need to listen to your teachers, Manu. You no, know, I hate it when you call me that. That Mr. Q makes it too fun for you kids. Detention is supposed to be horrible. You know who doesn't go to detention? Kids who make it to prove it. Mom, back. I'm trying to talk to you about Jonas. I love that you have friends. I know it's been hard for you at times. But if Jonas and Caddy and the others keep landing you in detention... Mom, I'm trying to explain. You're special, Mars. You're so special. I've always known it. You are the reason I work two jobs. So you can go to a good school and grow up to be important. Special. Okay, baby. I love you. Mwah. Do your homework and go to bed at a decent hour. We'll talk in the morning. Yeah, sure. Good night, Aurora. I'm gonna find you. Mars, out. <laughs> Bet you don't miss the cafeteria, Aurora. At least when you and Jonas were here, we filled the whole table. Now it just feels empty. Hey, Mars. Hey, Aurora. Miss you. The menu said tater tots was a side. They have french fries. I didn't get upset, though. Not too much. Jonas liked fries. Yeah, yeah, he did. Does. You guys hear anything? Are you just going to keep recording us for the rest of our lives? I'm trying to keep a record. Of what? The day we all finally dropped dead from the healthy lunch. Hey, JP. You're cool with this, Caddy? It's a lot, but I think sending recordings to Aurora helps him process his feelings. Even though his girlfriend never responds? She, she wasn't, wasn't his my girlfriend. girlfriend. Uh-huh. I'm just wondering if you'd be keeping a record if someone other than Aurora disappeared. Would he be this upset if it was, I don't know... Of course we would, JP. We'd miss you just as much. Hey, I didn't say me. Sorry, kind of obvious, but we're a team, right? Mars, I've been thinking about Aurora and Jonas and patterns. You're good at solving mysteries. Excuse me! I said, excuse me! Are you guys the free table or the hearing impaired table? Can we help you with something, Epica? These two empty chairs? I'm taking them. <laughs> Sorry, we need these chairs. Like, why? There's six people at this table. Are the other two people, like, real people? Okay, time for you to go. Spoiler alert! Nobody's coming to sit with you, losers. Leave now. Hey, don't touch me. Help! It's attacking me! Don't call her that! Help! Yes. Get off the house! Help! Help! Help. Get stop. away from me! Stop. What are you stop. doing? Help! Stop! Stop! Fighting the cafeteria, Aurora. Two more weeks of detention. But hey, they didn't take away your chair. Jonas's mom! That's Jonas's mom going into his locker! Mrs. Hopkins! Mars! 
Yeah, hi. Uh, where's Jonas? Uh, Jonas? Yeah, Jonas, your son. Where is he? Jonas is... He's great. Wonderful. Um, okay, but, but where? Mars, I... I just came here to pick up his medication, you know, for his stomach. We're about to go away on a family trip. I wasn't planning on seeing anyone. I don't understand. During the Code Red, Jonas just disappeared. Oh, Mars, you look so worried. You don't have to be worried. This is a great thing, like a dream come true. A dream? Whose dream? All of us. Let's be honest. Jonas's record in school was less than stellar. He spent all of his time playing those silly games and... He didn't think they were silly. Right. Well, I'd all but given up on him, and then... And then what? Mrs. Hopkins, what are you talking about? Are you okay? I'm wonderful, Mars. It was lovely to see you. I'll be sure and tell Jonas you said hello. I don't understand. Why aren't you telling me where he is? You'll understand eventually. Oh, and Mars, I know you've had your own struggles. Maybe one day this will happen for you, too. What will happen? I don't... Mrs. Hopkins! Did you hear all that, Aurora? What the heck just happened? Today's podcast is brought to you by Pruitt Industries and Pruitt Prep. Pruitt takes you to the stars. Oliver Pruitt again. Look out your window. See the blue sky, the clouds, the moon, the planets. It's all going to be yours one day. I built my school, Pruitt Prep, for kids just like you. We put it on an island so we can make it special. Does that sound fun? Or <laughs> maybe a little scary. <laughs> the students at Pruitt Prep are the brightest, most original thinkers in the world. Do you think maybe that's you? Here's a question. I am weightless, but you can see me. Hmm. Put me in a bucket and I'll make it lighter. What am I? Think you know the answer? At Pruitt Prep, we like to say, to the stars. And I believe it. I live it. Every day. And I know you do too. So plug back in, think of the answer, and I'll be back with you again sooner than you think. Hey, Aurora. Seven days now since you disappeared. Two since Jonas went missing. Feels like a year. How weird was his mom? She took everything from his locker. It's like he was never there at all. Of course, we know where Jonas really lived. So that's where we're headed to get answers. Hope it's not too loud for you. Sorry I'm late. Mr. Q stopped me after school to ask about Jonas. Why does it always smell like roasted armpit in here? All arcades smell like stinky boys. Because they're filled with stinky boys. Attention, paintball soldiers. Two hot dogs for the price of one. Five minutes only. Anyone else think it's twisted to have paintball and video games under one roof? It's basically murder training camp. Jonas loved it here. He also loved gummy bears on his pizza. It's strange to see Jonas's picture up there on the wall. Only five people in the country have ever scored higher than 10,000 on breaking and entering. He's in quite a steep company. Now entering the paintball atorium for the doom guy. of doom. He does the paintball Garth Richardson's fifth birthday party. Let those paintballs fly. Hey, Bodie. Mars Patel. I'm so glad you're here, man. You seen Jonas? Some dude is closing in on his high score on breaking and entering. I love that game. I like to be the cops. Jonas was always the bad guy. Yeah, he was hardcore. When he wasn't having a tummy ache. We need your help, Bodie. Jonas disappeared from school two days ago. Disappeared? Like, poof? We were wondering if we could check his locker. It's against palace rags, but as assistant manager, I do have a master key. Come on, guys. Hey, Chris, cover for me, will ya? Tell us again what Jonas' mom said. It wasn't so much what she said as what she didn't say. Like, pretty much anything. And she was acting weird? For a human. All right, you know, can we just check out this locker and get out of here? Whoops. 
that thing get unlocked? Don't know how that happened. Open at your own risk, dudes. This could go very wrong. I once saw Jonas stuff half a meatball parm sub in there. All right, will someone just open the dang thing already? On three. One, two. Empty. Just like his school locker. It's gone. All of it. What do we do now? Mars has another plan, right? Mars always has a plan. Do you, genius? We're breaking into Jonas's house. Breaking and entering? Are we the cops or the criminals? Because you know the criminals get shot most of the time. You know having a plan is not the same as having a good plan. He's not going to let us say no. We're going to find Aurora and Jonas. Even if we get shot in the process. Here's one to draw in your sketchbook, Aurora. Me and the rest of your friends hiding in the bushes outside Jonas's house. You would have loved this mission. Another game. Only we're breaking into his place. I know it was my idea, but to be honest, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Shh! Can you can the narration for once so we can just do this? Jonas's room is in the basement. I've snuck him in and out a million times. This way. Since when does Jonas have a dog? He was allergic to every animal on Earth. Dogs made his throat close up. Maybe his parents knew he wouldn't be living here anymore. They didn't waste any time. Woof. Shh. You said they were going away. They left their new doggy home alone. I can handle chompers. She's going to use her powers. Shh. How long before are we going after her? Give it a minute. Guys, come on through. I've got the puppy. Man, she is good. You finally noticed? That's the vicious animal. It looks like a beanie boo. Okay, like we planned, Toothpick. You stand guard. The rest of us into the basement. And you're sure you remember the alarm code? Unless they've changed it. The last number is a seven. How do you know? I remember the code. I thought it was an eight. It's a seven. I really think it's an eight. You guys gonna stand here all night and discuss this? Seven! Okay, you're the numbers guy. We'll go with seven. Is it off? I think so. One thousand points on breaking and entering. A light would be nice. I thought you said he lived here. He does. He did. He used to be tricked out. It's totally empty, just like the lockers. Not even a bed or a lamp or a poster on the wall. Everything's gone. Including Jonas. Can we go? I think I've had enough creepy for one night. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Not until we find something. Like what? Anything. Jonas said it himself before the code read. People don't just disappear, right? Can we at least look upstairs? Oh, man! What was that? Expensive! No! What is that sound outside? Oh, ow! Is it your head? Is it hurting again? Maybe it's just... Oh, ow! Is it that bad? Okay, I usually don't believe in the whole caddy's magic head thing, but why take chances? You guys can't hear that? Sirens. Police sirens? I thought you guys said the alarm was off. It's probably not for us. Probably? Did you guys just get a text message? Yeah, did you? I just got a text. It's from Jonas. Is it me or are those sirens getting louder? I don't understand the text. Ab masters? What does that mean? You're hearing how close it is, right? Toothpick, was the alarm definitely disabled? Maybe the last number on the alarm code was an eight. We know you're in the house. Don't make us come in after. What do we do? Run! Want to hear more? Subscribe to Pinna to listen to all the episodes, plus a ton of other awesome podcasts, audiobooks, and more. With content added daily, there is always something new to discover. Go to pinna.fm. 
That's P-I-N-N-A dot F-M to start a free trial today. 